me scroll over here and show off the beautiful wonder that is the Chutes River. Look at this. This is incredible. And I'll continue to hike along. You can see we get some pretty epic shoreline access. The shoreline views are not shy and they are plentiful along this hike. Makes it a true river wilderness hike. This is a national wild and scenic river, so it's got the wild and the scenery going on. Here's a placard. You can pause it and read it if so inclined. Today is May 6, 2022. It is spring. When I got here, it was actually raining relatively hard. Right now, we have a reprieve, which I am appreciative of, although I don't mind the rain. I have no doubt this will get quite busy later today, especially being a Friday. And I jinxed myself by mentioning it wasn't raining because it is starting to rain again. Clearly my own fault. And I'll stop here and take another look. Pretty epic section of Deschutes. I personally see a lot of advantages doing something like this in spring. You get to avoid the heat. If you come here in August, it's gonna be 80, 90 degrees and it's a dry desert heat. Well, that's, you're gonna have to worry more about your hydration and bring a lot of fluid uh, because of all your sweating, your fluid loss. So you come in spring and right now it's like high 30s, low 40s. I'm completely comfortable. So uh, you avoid the heat. I got fortunate because today's I came on a weekday intentionally and I came here just around sunrise and I'm the only one here. So it's actually quite a feat because this is a very popular area right next to the heavily populated bend, which is kind of the central hub of the Central Oregon outdoors playground area of Mount Bachelor. So I highly recommend doing that. Come on a weekday, come at sunrise, come off season. As I said, it's May 6th, it's spring. And that also frees up your summer hiking slots for the more aggressive alpine hikes that are only accessible a couple months a year. That is how I personally like to bifurcate my seasonal hiking strategy. And I highly recommend that approach if you're trying to maximize your exploration and adventuring each year. If you only kind of do a couple hikes a year, it probably doesn't really matter if you what, what month you do them. But if you're trying to fit in as many as you can, like I am, then you want to be thoughtful of your approach. Hiking through the beautiful Deschutes National Forest. Pine Orific with all these epic Ponderosa pines. You can tell they're Ponderosa by that reddish brown bark that some of them have. That is a telltale sign of Ponderosa-ness. Also got some lodge poles in the area. Straight ahead, those are some of those are lodge poles. Definitely has a bit of a desert ecological feel. Got a lot of sagebrush and various bushes and brushery. Uh, that isn't going to be as endemic in a old growth national forest area like Mount Hood. Oregon's a bit interesting because it's kind of a massive ecological divide. British Columbia, Washington, and kind of Northern Oregon kind of ending at Mount Hood. And then it kind of transitions into Southern, to Central to Southern Oregon, kind of has more of a ponderosa pine, lodgepole pine desert feel, kind of more of a California feel um, and Idaho feel. So kind of an interesting area. I live in Madras, so if I drive an hour north, it's an old growth city. I drive an hour south or west and it's desert city. So I kind of appreciate the stark difference between the areas just because they're right in the area in which I live. If you kind of live in one and not the other, you might not realize how variant they really are, but it's quite distinct if you go visit them both regularly like I do. So this is a national wild and scenic river, which means it has been nationally recognized for its epicness. I've got a fun fact for you, and who doesn't love fun facts? So I was researching the National Wild and Scenic River designation, so it'd be fair to call Oregon the National Wild and Scenic River capital of the United States. You know, I was born and raised in Oregon and grew up my whole life here in Oregon, and I didn't even know that until I looked that up. So I don't know if people who live in Oregon fully appreciate our river prowess, that we are number one in rivers. So I found that educational, and this is certainly a pretty epic river. I'll come over here to the shoreline, kind of a lazy river section, and I think I'm going to come down here and take a look. Always looking for beautiful areas, and we're kind of getting more to a lava, a proper lava rock area on the other side of the river. Again, that's Lava Lands, Newbury National Volcanic Monument, so I almost trip. Uh, 
And let's stop here and take a look. Look at that. Very beautiful. And let's take a look there. That's beautiful. And a little bit of sun on mighty Deschutes. We have an interesting tree we're coming up to. Kind of epic. I don't know, I'm a sucker for these little interesting formations. I know they intentionally leave them on the trail as a point of interest. It's not accidental, but I still appreciate them. And it gives you something interesting to look at while you hike. Here's a interesting little creepy hut. I don't know what that is. That's meant to be a structure or just a pile of logs. Looks like there is a hollow center, but it's like a down log teepee of some sort. I don't know what that is, but a hut. Anyway, I will not attempt to enter it. That doesn't seem like a wise course of action. I want it to come down on me. I'm really not interested in going through a spider section. So I will continue along. This is definitely a lazier area of the river. It's kind of interesting, the various life cycles of a river as it rains on me. Uh, we had some pretty cool whitewater rapid sections and beautiful cascading sections, and now we're kind of to the more lazy river section, flat and on a very still day, I'm sure this is like pin drop still. Right now it's raining and windy. It's actually kind of raining, picking up. It's hard to see. Today we're doing Deschutes River shoreline hiking. Happened to be in a section that's a little away from the river, but lion's share of this hike is right up in the river's business. This is beautiful. A lot of birds singing in this area. This is a beautiful forest. This is my favorite forest in the state of Oregon. It's just got a cool feel to it. 